Hi there, Tasha Lanigan from designhousedigital.com and today I'm bringing you a video, to, video tutorial on masks and this time it's on clipping masks. So last week I brought you layer masks. Uh, I want to thank um, Leia Boston and Mary Shaw for their comments on the blog about this um, clipping mask method or the alt click method as uh, we're calling it on the blog. So I'm using um, Mary Mosley's uh, photo story templates um, set to um, and uh, the uh, Dazzle Collab from uh, earlier this week uh, by uh, Tia uh, Candy and Courtney and I'm using uh, Courtney's papers and her journaling cards um, in this uh, tutorial. Now into elements and I already have um, Mary's uh, photo story um, file open and at the bottom in my bin I have um, the uh, papers journaling card and photo so I'm just I'm just doing three things here um, but obviously you know you'll go ahead and, and load in everything that you want to put in uh, so first thing we do is just drag in the paper um, and then we need to work out where we want it. So Mary has, I'm going to resize this paper first anyway because I want it to be uh, pretty much the size of a square. I really like the pattern um, so I'm going to leave that uh, hole um, and then I'm going to press the, the tick um, to accept my transformation changes. Um, Mary, I should have said this at the start, Mary has these layers numbered uh, one, two, three, four, five, etc. So um, it's quite easy to, to, to follow and find um, the masks. So I want to put this piece of paper um, in square uh, six. So the first thing I need to do is drag my flower paper layer above, above the mask um, layer. And that's very important when you're using this method is to make sure that the image that you want to use um, is above the mask that you want to use. And the next thing I do is then drag um, uh, the image roughly where it's going to be. And now you hold down the Alt key and you'll see here that the hand changes to um, like a, a a couple of circles like a Venn diagram uh, with a, a small little arrow um, and you, you only get that when you hover in between the two layers and then you click and there you can see the um, the uh, mask has uh, clipped the um, paper and the beauty of this method is that now if you resize that you should be able to see that it stays clipped um, uh, within the mask area and then if you move it around as well so it's really flexible really easy uh, to do um, I don't want it so I'll just click no on on that the other thing I learned this week um, is actually is if you hold the alt key down it'll resize um, from uh, its central point or its anchor point uh, which is here and it's, it's, uh, it tends to be in the center um, and which is great because because obviously that's uh, um, you know, in this particular uh, template, um, you know, where you might want it bigger or smaller um, around that center point. So that's a very uh, neat little little tip. Uh, so, so now what I'm going to do is bring in um, the journaling card, which I want over here, and I'm just going to resize that um, down, and then I want that in square. Um, make sure you press the tick um, before you can move on. I want that in square number nine so I drag that layer above um, nine for the mask and then I click the hold the alt key and press click um, and there we go that's the that's uh, the the journaling card masks and it's in the right place so we'll leave that there um, and then you drag in um, your photos I'm going to resize this and move it around so that I don't lose it and then I'm going to drag this layer above uh, number seven that would be hold the alt key down and click and I'm resizing it a little bit more and so and then accept 
any transformation changes you have the green tick so there you go it's, this is very quick to to build um uh your photo story layouts using the templates and the alt click method um in elements um one thing um that i want to mention about um the uh, clipping masks um, or the alt click method is um, and I don't use um, elements routinely but uh, so you'll have to bear with me as I as I as I go through this but um, you can't apply um, if you use drop shadows or if you want to apply effects you can't apply them um, to the image layer you must make sure you apply them to the um, mask layer underneath um, and I, I'll show you quickly now. So if you um, have the image layer selected, go to effects um, and drop shadows. And I'm going to use this exaggerated mask, um, so it's so it's clearly visible. You double click that um, and go down to your your layers. You'll see here the little FX um, shows that the shadow effect is applied, um, but you don't see anything. So um, I'm going to clear that layer style, go down to the uh, mask below it, go back into the effects panel and double click and there you go, you can see now that the um, the shadowing has been applied. Um, and then if you go back into the layers you can see here that the little effects is, is been applied. So that's if you want to, if you want to do any shadowing or um, any effects at all. Um, you must make sure you do it on the mask layer. Okay, so that's everything for uh, Clipping Mask that I wanted to show you in Elements. Um, please add your comments to the blog and uh, thanks very much for watching.